So in this video we will design a 2 bit up or down counter. In this case we have two inputs up and down. So if the up signal is 1 I will be counting up and if there is a down signal then I will be counting down. Right. Okay, so in this case, I have four states. Assume we have a reset signal and whenever there is a reset, we go to state S0. You can show it like this. This reset signal can come from any state, but for simplicity, we just show it like this. So from here, if I have an up signal, then I will be going to this. If there is an up signal, then I will be going. So this means up is one, okay? So this is up is one and this is up is one. Similarly, if we have a down signal, then we will be going to the other way. I will be staying in my states if the up is zero and down is zero, right? And the last case is not possible you cannot have up is one and down is one at the same time okay now let's write our state table since we have four states we can use two flip-flops to represent our states so for our inputs we will have up down and let's call our flip-flops a and b a t and b t so these are our inputs and for our next states we will have a t plus one and b T plus one. Let's write our 16 possibilities. Here is our 16 possibilities. Now let's find out our next state values. So in this section up and down is zero zero. So there is no change here. So our next state will be the same as our present state. So I will have zero zero here, zero one here, one zero here and one one here. So in the second section, if up is 0, down is 1, we will count down. So from 0, 0 state, I will be going to 1, 1 state. From 0, 1 state, I will be going to 0, 0 state. From 1, 0 state, I will be going to 0, 1 state. And from 1, 1 state, I will be going to 1, 0 state. And if the up is 1, down is 0, then we will be counting up. So from 0, 0 state, I will be going to 0, 1. From 0, 1, I will be going to 1, 0. From 1, 0, I will be going to 1, 1. And from 1, 1 state, I will be going to 0, 0 state. And in the last section, both up and down is 1, 1. This is not possible. So this is our don't care section, right? So I will be having X's in this section. And for the output logic, since this is a Moore counter, my output will be equal to my current state. So let's say my output is Y and Y0 T would be equal to BT and Y1 T would be equal to AT. So I have a two bit output Y0 and Y1 and they are equal to my present state. Given this state table, now we can find out our next state equations. Here are two Carnot maps for AT plus one and BT plus one. Let's fill out this Carnot map. So for AT plus one, if up is zero, down is zero, I have a one here and another one here. If up is zero, down is one, I have a one here and I have a one here. So if up is one, down is zero, I have a one here and I have another one here. And for one one, I have don't cares here. Similarly, we can fill out the Carnot map for BT plus one. Now let's group the ones in AT plus one Carnot map. So this is one group and this is another group. This is the third group and this is the last group then we will get this equation now let's write the equation for bt plus one let's group the ones in bt plus one Carnot map so here is a first group here is my second group and this is my third group so by using three groups i was able to cover all the ones now let's write the equation and here is our equation for bt plus one now as we have found all our equations now we can draw our schematic for our finite state machine so in this case we have two flip-flops to store our present state a t and b t so here is our next state logic for a t plus one and b t plus one and finally our output logic is here so this is y1 T and this is Y0 T. Now we have completed our schematic for our finite state machine. Now we can check just for one case if this 
circuit is working correctly and for the remaining cases you can check it by yourself so initially let's assume we have in this zero zero state and then assume we have down is one and up is zero so the next state should be one one so in this case we have a zero here a one here a zero here and a zero here so i have a one here so the next state of at is one and for bt plus one we have a zero here and we have a one here and we have a zero here so we have a one here so the next state of bt is one so we checked for this condition and then we prove that it is giving us the expected next state as one one so you can check the remaining cases